Welcome back to Jenkins Boatworks. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this episode, we steam bend the pieces to make the stems. It takes a couple of tries. Well, we've made big progress getting the uh, stations pretty well true and fair, and I uh, decided it's time to go ahead and see if we can steam bend uh, some strips that we can put on the ends for the stem ends. So we need them on the bow and the stern. And uh, I've got my trusty wallpaper steamer here that I've used before many times. And I've already got it plugged in and got some, got some water rolling there. Um, and then I've got some plastic. Now I'm just gonna do this in a bag. I've got, uh, I, I bought this from um, some composite outfit, but you could use any kind of heavy duty construction plastic. I like this because it's in a tube, so it's already all enclosed. And so I've got, I got some strips cut. Uh, a couple of these are mahogany and then one cedar. So my thinking on that is uh, these are quarter inch thick. I need a total of three quarters on the stems. So I've got uh, two mahogany for each end and then a, a put uh, cedar on the very end. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because the cedar will be a little easier to work and I'm gonna need to, to bevel these uh, when they're, once they're bent on. So what we're trying to do is get it, these steamed enough. See, I can't bend them right now, I'd break them. But I gotta go on the, on the end of the canoe over here, right there. So I'm thinking to bend these on like that, put the cedar on the outside, and um, see, I can't, there's no way I can make it around that bend right there, I just break it. So these are quarter inch thick, so we got a total of three quarters, which is what the plan calls for. And when I get that three quarters in there, you can see I'm right up to the profile of that station. So, so far so good. Uh, now I'm going to cut my bag and then we'll steam these. It won't take very long. Steaming uh, wood is typically an hour per inch of thickness. These are only a quarter inch, so it should only take 15 minutes. Um, we may let them go just a teeny bit longer than that. This wood's very dry. But uh, anyway, should be fun. Okay, so I got my bag ready. And uh, I just got it folded over. I didn't need nearly as much bag as, as it is. I, I just got it clamped down, put a board in here and rolled it. So now I've got a pretty decent area here. Now my sticks, I'm just gonna put these right in there. I've already got the hose in there. We don't have any steam rolling yet, but it won't be long. Put these in here like that. And uh, now I'm just going to fold this over with a little piece of wood here. And kind of seal that up. And uh, I believe that should do it. Now we're just going to wait for the steam to start rolling. That's it. Okay, here we go. Hear it? Now that's gonna inflate that bag. A little bit of steam coming in there already right now. Didn't really take very long. Just got it clamped off and all the little sticks are right in there. See the bag inflating? Steam bending wood is so much fun. This is absolutely one of the things I enjoy about boat building. It's amazing what you can do with it. It's amazing. All right. All right, we're about halfway through. This has been steaming for seven, eight minutes anyway. Look at how tight we got that bag. It's all inflated. 
with hot steam. I actually even opened up a little end over here just to let a little bit of the steam escape. And I like the idea that it's coming out down here because I know that it's going all the way through. I've actually got just a teeny leak up there where the hose is coming in, and that's okay. You can see steam coming out there and here. I certainly don't want to pop this bag. Um, so anyway, but nice and tight. Should be really hot in there. I just remember not to touch it. The other thing I did while I'm waiting is I got set up. I got my tape on the ends of the um, stem molds so that we don't have any glue or anything attached to stems to the actual mold because we're going to, once these are bent, then we're going to glue them up. We'll epoxy them together. And I got my clamps ready to go. And, uh, ready on the other end as well. So this is exciting. Okay, they should be steamed. We're gonna to try to get them out of the bag. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Not good. Broke it. Broke all three of them. Maybe doing them one at a time. Nope. Nope, I can feel it's not. Nope. It's just an awfully tight band. Really tight bend, busted it. That one's gonna work.
Okay, well there's one. I'm going to bend this one around up in the front. We'll see. That thing's still plenty hot. Okay. Okay, so new plan. Oh, I still got goggles. Um, I just cut a bunch more strips. I went 3 sixteenths on these instead of quarter inch. They're thinner. And what I notice is I can fit, well, not this one. <laughs> I have seven more. I'm gonna steam these and then we'll try bending them on. Oh my god. More in a minute. I am undeterred. What does that mean? I'm not giving up. I've got about 12 of these strips in here now. They're not all gonna break. We went 3 16ths this time. And uh, so we'll give them about 15 minutes and then uh, bend them on. More in a minute. Let's try again. Pretty well steamed. Yeah, look at that. I think they're gonna bend. How about that? I'm still short. I'm going to try to get one more in here. Ladybug on me. Get off me. There's the tricky part. Right there. Boy, what a difference a sixteenth of an inch makes. Whoop, that one's breaking. It's breaking. Dang it. I had to say something, didn't I? I got a lot of extras this time. Come on, that feels like it's going to go.
Once you get around this part, you're good. Yeah, I'm good with that. Okay, that's how you do it. We're better than three quarters, a little bit. About a sixteenth, probably. Watch out, doggy. All right, this time we had success. They're on there good. We're gonna let those dry for a day or so and then we'll epoxy them together. Here's the, here's the front. Really nice. I don't have any gaps in there. It's got them bent right on there. So that's good. It's coming along. All the stations are fared. Starting to put masking tape on them. We'll be putting strips on in no time. Chuck dog. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.